Hi everyone, now I'm going to react to Azutai um, making do big has as so the link will be in, in the bus below and how you guys enjoy it. And this reaction video will be split into three parts. After tag, try it yourself. That can do. Is Neil Buchanan. Ah, hello there. Good to see you again. And welcome to my brand new Art Attack Try It Yourself video. In fact, this is the third in a series of three videos in a set. Wow. But I'll tell you more about that later. Now, you know Art Attack by now. It's all about having fun with art. Well, this video is all about making things the Art Attack way. Now, I'm sure you have loads of ideas of your own, but there are plenty of ideas that you can try out straight away on this video. Now, on Art Attack itself, I try not to use any fancy art materials. Instead, I use a load of old rubbish. <laughs> Literally. Mm -hmm. I don't throw anything away. I keep leftover bits and pieces in my special art store. And here it is. Look at this box. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, there are hundreds of potential art attacks in here. With this lot and some ordinary PVA glue, you can create almost anything. Now, you will have seen me using this stuff a lot. Loo rolls, kitchen rolls, and various tissue papers. I use them all the time with PVA glue to give models and things lots of strength. By adding layers of loo roll or kitchen roll or basic tissue paper to your model and gluing it into place with PVA glue, you can make even the most delicate model strong and solid. And tissue paper and glue are the starting point for this wonderful art attack. A fantasy island. Wow. Yep, you can design your very own island. It's so easy to do. To make your dream island, take a piece of cardboard box card and start by drawing a rough design of the shape of your island. And make sure you leave loads of space around the edge for the sea. Now, I'm doing an island with a cove here, a beach, and two hills. Now, to create the 3D shape of your island, scrunch up some balls of tissue paper or loo roll and dip them into some PVA glue mixed in equal parts with water. And just dip the bottom of those balls in and then put them onto your drawn island. Now, to create hills for your island, just scrunch up bigger balls of tissue paper or loo roll, and again, dip those into the PVA and water mixture, just the bottom of the ball in the glue. And you can actually use newspaper for this if you want, and just press that onto the island. Now, here's a question for you guys, as bit. always. It wouldn't be um, art attack if there wasn't a messy bit. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so, just slop the PVA no, glue all over the tissue um, balls, three and then take no, three some more strips of tissue paper or loo roll, place those over. You know what I mean. Those soggy do you use have art and attack on video? Do you use to watch it on the TV? Into the shape, I can feel it all squidgy What's inside. What's your thoughts on and then art attack? Even messier. Let me know on this. Twitter or Instagram or bar. Oh, that looks terrible. Well, it'll look brilliant in a minute. More glue on the top. I never and then just had an art attack video when I was a kid. Just smooth all of that tissue. But into I do watch it on um, TV. By the, the um, episodes. And Neil, and make sure I think Neil has been the perfect house the edge of um, Architect back in, in the day. Island, and he also appeared in Sab, which you know him as Smart Archie. Paper or you, um, and he hosted one of the keepers. And, and I've got proof PVA because I reacted to find this previous episode. And those trees look brilliant. Now, if you want to create um, some buildings, I might just cut little square. I'm um, half out reacted to just five of episode of find this previous episode. I've got loads of glue there, so I just put one. So I think on top it, it might be five. Like that. I don't know. And then for the roof of the building, just fold over a small square of paper. See that? Just created it. 
Neil is a great um, person. He doesn't appear on TV anymore. Um, he just build the he island or just use your imagination. It's band. great fun trying to work out where you're going to put everything. And don't forget, you're a dream island, so he you can do what you want. He well, on um, celebrity dudes back in 2012. And they really do and look like cliffs, and you've got all the buildings and these solid trees up there. And now to turn it into a paradise island. And you do this by painting it. And what I've done with this one here is I've painted the cliffs yeah. a nice and I'll, and I'll have a nice round. And how and happy. And the idea is to just really press your paint into all those nooks and crannies. Acrylic or poster for this, doesn't matter which paint you use. Now, for the tops of the cliffs and the trees, give it a really nice paradise feel and use some bright greens. Again, just going to slot that on the top. There, like that. And for the trees, you could always mix in some darker greens. Just darker to pick greens. those trees out. And you could even put some yellows on there just to pick out some highlights. Make it lots of nice greenery. Now, for the sea, it's probably Caribbean island, sea. so slop on a nice Caribbean blue. You could even mix in see, see, some see, see, other blues, see, streak see, some other blues see, in there see, to give it a good water effect. Now, see this shimmering surf effect? I have to admit, I'm a cheat. To get, to get that, I use some of this stuff, just ordinary kitchen cling film. And it's just a case of when your paint is dry, slop some glue on just to the sea area, and then just cut bits of this oh. cling film. Place Let me now on social media if you want to me to continue the reacting to after tags, the cliffs, uh, videos, like and episodes. And when you finish the whole sea, it looks something like that. And look at that. I've painted the beach a nice sandy yellow. I've painted the buildings a wooden brown. And that's it. Your own dream island. And if you do a few of them, you could create a group of dream islands. They look brilliant, don't they? All ten out of ten. A nightmare island. Oh, a nightmare. Ha, ha, ha. Try it yourself. Your own dream island. <laughs> Right. Now, for many of the things that I make on Art Attack, I use stuff like newspaper and cardboard box card, which you can probably find at any time. But there are some special things around your home which are definitely worth keeping your eye on because you want to make sure that they don't get thrown out when they're finished with. Washing up liquid bottles are a really good example. Now, I know you don't get empty ones that often, but you want to make sure that they don't just get chucked away automatically when they're finished with, because they are brilliant for some art attacks. Like this one. An art attack paint tube for keeping all your art materials in. Take a look at this. I think I'm my time. Here we go. Take an empty washing up liquid bottle. Take the squeezy top off and thoroughly wash it out. And when it's dry, cut the bottom of the bottle. Now, these plastic bottles can be quite difficult to cut. And you know my motto, if it's difficult, get someone else to do it. Then cut the top two centimetres from this sloping neck. And the idea is to keep two centimetres of the body on. Cut all the way round, apart from about two centimetres, so you've got a waggling hinge. Then squeeze the bottom of the bottle to get the shape of your paint tube and securely tape it into that position. Now, you can take a lot of time doing that. I don't get that much time on Art Attack, so I'm just doing it quickly to show you. Then take a sheet of newspaper, close the newspaper and place a ruler at the bottom and then just roll the ruler in side the newspaper like that and then take the ruler out and wrap that rolled piece of newspaper around the bottom of your tube overlap it there and where it overlaps again tape it thoroughly and securely into place just put another one on there to show you again you put loads of tape on now to make the top of your paint tube take the lid of a plastic drinks bottle or a plastic milk bottle I'm going to take this one here, place that on the top there like that, and that will be the lid of your paint tube. And again, just tape that into place. Make it as neat as you can. Just pushing it on there like that and put the tape around the edges. And then to neaten the whole thing up and make it nice and secure, mix 
put some PVA glue with a little bit of water. Now, you've seen this PVA glue before. It's the old school glue you get in the white squidgy bottles. In fact, I use this so often, people are starting to call this Art Attack glue. So I've just paste some of that onto that top there. And you know what I'm going to do. You've seen me do this before. A bit of papier-mâché. Put little bits of newspaper on there. And the idea is to just press the newspaper down into all those nooks and crannies. And again, you can take your time doing that. And do exactly the same with the tube itself to neaten it up, slop on your glue and stick on bigger strips of newspaper to cover all those gaps and all those joins. And it's very important that you put some bigger strips on and overlap them down inside your tube. And just turn that around there to show you. Just overlap them about two centimeters inside the tube. You don't want to go all the way down, just about two centimetres. And do that all around the tube. Cover the tube in the same way. And when it's done, you'll have something that looks like that. Look at that, and it's gone hard Ooh. and strong and really finished it off. Now, to get the tube to stay closed when you close it, you need to make a cardboard collar. And the best way to do that is to draw around a ruler onto an empty cereal box. So you've got a strip cereal box card. And then just pe place... It can be any your um, cereal box card. And paste some glue be, around um, those overlapped place. newspaper um, bits. Just inside the edge there. That's why I overlapped the With newspaper. The Very important, that. And then just roll you get the, the idea. cereal box card and pop it inside like that and allow it to spring out into shape and then get your fingers in there and spring it out into shape so that it's a perfect fit and you could always just close it just to test that it's a good fit but make sure you open it to dry it out and when it's dry you could paint it now you could do any paint tube design you like you could copy a real paint tube or you could make your own one up but i find it's a good idea to paint it white to start with on the paint tube itself i'm just slopping that on there to show you and then you could always paint the metal bits a sort of gray or a gray silver and when you've done the whole thing again you take your time doing it poster paint or acrylic paint and when it's done it looks something like that as i've done here i've painted it white i've painted the metal bits a gray silver i painted the lid black and i've even put on a strip of red here to show what color paint is inside my paint tube and to design the label itself i've copied a real paint tube i've written on red you can write on art attack or you can write on your own name because after all it is your paint tube and all these other little bits and pieces and details i've just copied from a real paint tube and then you just open it up and you pop in your paint brushes and pens and your other art materials in it goes all your art stuff and then just close the lid and there it is your own art attack paint tube try it yourself right. <laughs> excuse me <laughs> now yeah i know what you're thinking what's he doing taking time off from making this video to have a break and eat a nice lolly well that's where you're wrong because what i'm doing is i'm creating art materials can't you tell <laughs> And now you're probably thinking, what's he talking about? Well, apart from being great to eat, by finishing off this lolly, I've been left with a great art material. A lolly stick. Instead of just chucking it in the bin, keep it, wash it, and use it. And since this video is all about making things, here's a great idea that involves making something out of lolly sticks. Take a look Ooh. at this easel. It's made entirely out of lolly sticks and it's a perfect way to turn a picture into a masterpiece. Thank you. I'll see you guys in part two.